Welcome to part two of my collaboration with Liz over at Liz at Home. In part one, I went into a little more detail about why and how we're doing this project, but in a nutshell, it's to encourage you that there's really no wrong way to color. It's to encourage you to find your own style and process of coloring and give some examples of two very different ways of going about it and show that they're, they're both just as legitimate. Um, my style is very different from hers. I have no idea what her page is looking like right now, but I'm looking forward to seeing it along with all of you probably tomorrow. Um, but um, you can either follow one of our methods or take the parts that work for you and come up with your own style. It's all about what brings you happiness and joy and not about adding stress to what should be an enjoyable hobby. Um, so yeah, I am going to, I'm showing you these first few flowers. Uh, all the flowers will be the same. I tend to do all of, if there's objects, if there are objects that are looking the same, I try to do all the same first layer, like all the darkest pinks and then all of the next color. I can't do one flower at a time to completion. Otherwise I forget from one to the next what I did. So that's my method and that's what I'm doing here. After I finish these five little flowers, I will um, set the rest, well after I finish talking here, I will set the rest to music. The rest of the flowers are exactly like this and um, I might pop in from time to time if there's something helpful to be said and otherwise I will see you again at the end. What I find myself doing often is reusing color combinations in just a slightly different way. So the colors for this nest are the exact same colors I used for the flowers. I'm just using way more of the darker colors and not the lightest pink that I used on the flowers. 
So the two sections coordinate really well with each other because they're the same colors, but they are different enough to still add interest. So that's just one of the ways that I tend to um, minimize the materials that I use and make it much simpler and it just makes it more enjoyable for me to see how few materials and how few pencils I can use to accomplish what I want.
for the bird, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of each color because it's so repetitive. But basically we're using that chocolate brown just for the shadows in between and underneath all of the feathers of this body section. Then we're gonna take that 1002 and um, deepen the colors, do the, like the top third, and it doesn't have to be uniform. They can all be a little different, but do the whole body section. Then take the 917 and color most of the rest of the feather, but leave some of the tips and do it uneven. It doesn't have to be the same because we're gonna take this 916 and color all the rest of the feathers, just real dark. And then coming up, I got a manicure in between doing this tutorial. So I'm about to show you the before and the after, just because some of you will notice. <laughs> For the tail, we're gonna use those same colors for the most part, except for that last more yellow one because I want the tail and the wings coming up to be a little more on the oranger side, but it's the same colors. And for the feathers on the wings, do them exactly the same as we did the feathers on the body. And then for the feathers, the bigger feathers on the wing, do them just like you did the tail feathers. I'm showing you a little more detail of these, the bigger feathers because they're laid out a little differently than the tail feathers. So this way you can see how we did it. But again, more, a little more orangey than the body's feathers and the smaller feathers on the wing.
for the fairy dress. I'm gonna use a lot of the same colors from the bird's wings, but I'm gonna make it definitely more orange with the 943 and the 118 in the shadows. And then I'm gonna go back a little in a little bit and add more of this 118. So bear with me, I needed more orange. <laughs> I didn't put enough in on this first layer. When I finish the main part of this dress, I'm gonna leave the last few little details on the dress for the next video because at this point, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do them. So the last video will have those bits and the rest of the fairy and the, the, all the last little details like on the flower and, and things, um, and then it will be done. So uh, I'd encourage you to go check out Liz at Home's uh, video for today she dropped part number two so um, I will leave a link to her channel in my description and if you didn't catch part one yet I will leave a link to that as well here on the screen so I will see you on the next one